Hey YouTube viewers, what's up? In this video I'm going to show you how you can use Vienna Ensemble Pro to load up a virtual synth 32-bit plugin and you can use it then in Ableton Live 9 uh, and the Ableton Live 9 version I am using is a 64-bit plugin so you can then use all your 32-bit plugins within Ableton Live with ease and what I'm going to show you in this video is how you can connect every knob you have in your virtual synth to macro knobs in Ableton so you are able to record in your the automation of your filters first of all you have to start up Vienna Ensemble Pro Server and as you can see when it opens it's a 32-bit version. You also have a 64-bit version, but I want to load up a 32-bit plugin, so I need a 32-bit server. After that has been loaded, you're going to load up and start up Ableton, and in your plugins folder, you will find, if you have installed it correctly, your friend uh, Vienna Ensemble Pro plugin. You're going to drag it to your main session view, and then it says in this window it's not connected we click on connect and then we are going to connect it with this local host which you just opened click on connect now I want to raise the buffer somewhat or lower it so I won't have any latency you can click this field now away and then we can go back to Vienna Ensemble Pro the main window. Now I'm going to add the plugin in this area. You click with your right mouse button and you go to your plugins folder and however you have arranged it I have separated my effects and my instruments and now I'm going to load up the Nexus plugin. Okay here we go and I'm going for the come with me dance lead and it sounds a bit like this well that's nice but you want to be able to connect the for instance the cutoff knob now you have to go back to Vienna if you want to play around with it but we will very much like to have it here so you can play around it within Ableton. Well, to connect the virtual synth knob, for instance the cutoff, with Ableton so you can play around with it and you don't have to go back to the Vienna session view, you click on this screen right here and then you click on this little triangle and you see configure we like it green now we go back to the Vienna view and we click here on view automation mapping or just F5 this automation mapping screen appears you click on add you select the source parameter one will be fine and we click on the L for the destination for learn and then we select our cutoff knob now as soon as you do that you can see that it has selected the cutoff but it also has selected the cutoff as a param one in Ableton like you see here so if I'm now going to play around with it a bit see you see you can play around with it and it's very nice to have but there's one for more thing you want to do that is not makes it even better and that is you want to attach a micro knob to the parameter one and this is how you do it you select the window again and then you click with your right mouse button and you select group now this tiny little window appears right here and you have to press this button right here to show the macro knobs now you want to attach this parameter one to this macro knob and therefore you click on map you select param one and then you select map and param one is connected to this macro knob 
So if I'm now going to play. I can play around with it. And even better when I go to the arrangement view by pressing tap. You can see in your instrument that it now has the parent one in here. Well, one final thing you want to do maybe is to rename the parent one so that you can remember what you attach to it. You can right click on it or you can push Ctrl R and then you can select the new name. I choose a new name and I select cutoff. So whenever I go back to my arrangement view, I can see the cutoff here and all these other knobs I can also attach to my virtual synth knobs whenever I choose. Well, I hope you learned a lot today or something useful. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.